when I'm making these videos, if someone's watching it and they're mad because they think I'm white and just want attention or somebody else is upset because they're saying I'm black and I'm not embracing. And I think once I got over the fear of having to prove who I am to anyone, it really freed me up to be able to share who I am with anyone. Hi, my name is Danielle Romero, and I'm the filmmaker from the docu-series Finding Lola. And I struggled with reconnecting to my hidden heritage and my family story until I changed this one thing. You will never please everyone as you reconnect to your heritage, whatever that is, and start putting the pieces together. Different people see different parts of my family story when they talk to me and when they look at me. And that's awesome. Like, I love that people can see these different shades of my heritage. That's really cool. But just because someone's seeing one side of you doesn't mean that you have to ignore the other side of yourself either. This will keep you from being able to connect to your heritage and your family story every single time. There's something like really fascinating to me about transformation stories. Like where you have a character where they start here and they go through a metamorphosis and they come out changed on the other side. I thought that's what was happening to me. I thought I was starting here and I was going through this process of uncovering my hidden heritage, uncovering who my family was, uncovering my family story, and then I would be here. But the truth of the matter is that that identity was with me all along. That's always been who I am. Some of us have the gift of being raised kind of with a beautiful blending of those cultures and having a good understanding of like who you are on both sides of your family and where you come from. But then there's some of us like my family where that didn't happen. And so there's a little bit of like imposter syndrome, I think, when you are starting the process of uncovering this stuff. And then like, at least for me, like I'm excited and I want to embrace it. I want to do something with it. But I also don't want to be a phony. Well, it's like, how can you be a phony? It's your family. But it just feels like that. If it's who you are and it's who your family was, like, why is it such a struggle? It's this idea that you can only be one thing. You are this or you are that. Of being a little of this and this, like, that's not okay. If I don't give you the entire list of like every single background, every single ethnicity that I have, then I'm like rejecting somebody or something, or I'm ashamed of something. And it's just, it's just not the case. When I'm making these videos, if someone's watching it and they're mad because they think I'm white and just want attention or somebody else is upset because they're saying I'm black and I'm not embracing it, or like I'm Latina or Native American and you know, that's all they see, like, the truth is I'm um, all of those things. And you can see where the problem is here. People are going to see different parts of you and different parts of you are gonna resonate with them. But you will never find a way to identify that's going to please everyone. You just aren't going to, you can't. This will keep, this will keep you from connecting to your family story and your ancestry every single time. And I think that's like the exact opposite of what we should be doing is letting fears about other people's opinions about us keep us from doing the work on our family story or doing our genealogy. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they say? Depending on how the DNA shakes out, you may favor this family over that family. That's okay. I don't think we need to rely so much on like, does somebody look enough this way or look enough that way to represent their family history? Like your family history is your family history and you're not here without your family history and you don't need to prove anything to anybody about your family story. And I think once I got over the fear of having to prove who I am to anyone, it really freed me up to be able to share who I am with anyone. And I struggled until I changed my mindset. And my mindset is, who cares what other people think about this? So the work that you're doing is for the future too. It's for you, but that's a gift to give to future generations. Keep digging into your family story because I definitely am.